another edition of On a Couch Talking Sports. Uh, back to our regular sort of format here. As always, I'm Robbie, this is Kyle, and Hello. this guy over here, our special surprise guest, is Craig. Craig, welcome. Welcome to the show, man. Happy to be here. I'm happy to be <laughs> the first guest in this amazingly comfy guest chair. Well, yeah. and that, that's something we got to point out is that, you know, we are on a couch talking sports because sometimes you got to mix it up. So, right. for tonight, we are. In the mix. Yeah, we got to throw a little <laughs> curveball. So, tonight, we've got the special guest chair that Craig is, is rocking right now. I'm going to fart in it and mark my territory. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway. Uh, I just did it. Ooh, I can smell it now. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Not uh, don't ruin it. Um, but anyway, we're uh, this is sort of a, a, a cool subject that we're going to discuss. And the reason why we, part of the reason why we brought Craig on, other than he's such a cool guy to have oh. on, uh, but these two guys uh, both played four years of high school football. Yep. And as you all know, last week was Thanksgiving and in Massachusetts, where we all live. Thanksgiving Day high school football is is big. It's. Yes. Uh, all the towns have their, their Thanksgiving rivals that they play. Mm -hmm. um, Kyle and I actually are lucky enough to be involved in one of the oldest high school football rivalries in the country, Wellesley versus Needham, which is really cool. Uh, and yeah. Craig, I know your rivalry, Stone versus Reading, is quite the uh, has been around for a number of years as well. So. Not, not nearly as intense, though, as you would have said. But, uh, Quite lopsided, as we will get into talking about. <laughs> yeah, we'll <that. laughs> get into it. Uh, but anyway, so I thought it'd be fun to have these two guys on, sort of share memories and, and thoughts on the on what is the beauty of Thanksgiving high school football in the state of Massachusetts. So we're going to get right into it. I'm going to start with Craig and actually sort of work you both into the questions. Basically, yeah. just to sort of ask you guys, when you think of... Thanksgiving high school football, just in general, in the state of Massachusetts, what sort of thoughts, emotions come in, come into mind when you sort of think about that that whole concept? I don't know. It's it's a, actually it's actually tough to put a label on the emotion because it's so much. Yeah. Like this, like this, like the anger of you losing, you know, <laughs> yeah. and the, the happiness of that you could winning. But it, it's a lot of just I think of just tradition. You know, a lot of it has been happening for a while and especially in you don't know we don't know why you know you don't know why we are particularly disliking the other team yeah. why it's such a rivalry with this particular yeah. team but even though you don't know you still want to win you know it's very big like it's just it's just this sense of wanting to win so badly Kyle yeah. your sort of thought your thoughts on it as well I, I kind of agree with Craig but you know obviously with the, uh, before I get to you, before, like, with the Wells and Needham rivalry, it kind of makes a little bit of sense, because Wells used to be part of Needham, and then broke off, and, you know, they sort of started the game as sort of a, a peaceful thing, which is kind of interesting when you think about it. But, so the history uh, was kind of there. Yeah, the history yeah. was kind of there already. <laughs> but anyway, Kyle, so your thoughts, and when you just think about Thanksgiving high school football in general. Well, when I think about Thanksgiving, I think of broccoli casserole and pumpkin pie and... All right, well... Anyway, turkey. <laughs> yeah, you named the two things that were like the most random part yeah. of the turkey dinner, yeah. except yeah. the turkey. <laughs> what can I say? That's the food I always go for first. You don't like turkey? Yeah. You're not a turkey guy? It's alright. Depends on how you cook it. Yeah. You're doing great. Keep it up. <laughs> Let's get back on topic here. Good call, Robert. Just wanted to, just wanted to share that. But anyways, um, back to football. Yeah, it was... Um, it was I. I, I really had a really great experience. Uh, yeah, did, um, playing football four years and the the rivalry was really um, yeah it was it was uh, I I didn't know as much because I, I I'm a newcomer to Wellesley. I I've only been you moved around a lot. I I've moved around I've moved around a lot <laughs> during my life. So I, uh, I I just started playing football. Um, well, I just started getting to know people kind of at the end of middle school, beginning of high school. So. I don't. I didn't really know much about Wellesley and Needham, the whole rivalry. So it was. Uh, but no, it was. It was just a great experience from. Is it safe to say a lot of people? I don't know. Like that whole backstory. Do a lot of people know that that well, were, that you were part of Needham? Um, or? it's interesting that you bring that. Up. I mean, it's 
publicized, I feel like, mm -hmm. oh, you know, leading up to the game, like, the papers and stuff like that, so, like, people, like, can read about stuff like that, but it, it's an interesting point, I, I think that's a great point, is how many people really know the, yeah. the real story and tradition of Thanksgiving high school football, and I mean, obviously, you know, for me, growing up in Wellesley, you know, every year, I would go to either Needham or, or to the, the home field, Honeywell field here in Wellesley, and uh, you know, watch the game and, you know, play. I know we'd have, like, pickup games going and stuff like that. It just sort of adds to the 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 fun and the tradition of it. You know, you got both town, the young kids of both towns sort of a lot of times would, like, play pickup games against each other. It's just a really cool Yeah, that's really a good cool point. I, yeah, because when we would go to, when I was, before I started playing, like, high school football, when we would go to the, the high school football games, the Reading younger kids would be there too and we'd end up playing them. Yeah. Oh. You know, like it's sort of like a, tradi a tradition you get yeah. away. That's you funny because it's the game that the game, game, like, game within the game. Not yeah. even watching the game right <laughs> yeah. about your game. No, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I could this is the real game. game right now. Screw that <laughs> yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is where all the excitement happens. No yeah. question. But, um, so getting back, I, I want to take you back to, well, we'll get into like in general, but I want to take you back to your, your senior years and that last Thanksgiving game, your senior year, just sort of your emotions like going into that game because you know obviously that's going to be most likely your last football game you're ever going to yeah. play. So again, Craig, I'll start with you. Just sort of, you know, what were you, uh, if you can remember, like oh, what yeah. were you feeling going, it's, it's, I know I'm talking to people, it's something that that senior year game, you don't usually forget it. It's mm -hmm. like something that stays in your memory for quite a while. Yeah, and, uh, what I'll get into is we have this, we actually have a ceremony prior to that game. We call it the burning of the boot. And they, we, we would, the whole team would gather around a boot and they would set it on fire. And we would all go around and the seniors would get to say, you know, you know, just give like a little speech, like saying like what they liked about the game, what they liked about the team and what they want to do in the, the Thanksgiving game and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, and that was like emotion, like I remember that being... <laughs> really emotionally charged like being someone who like I really cared about football but I always like was like it's not I know I'm not gonna like go on in it you yeah, know exactly. there's yeah, always yeah. that thing where you thought like you know this oh, is yeah, gonna yeah. end and like just being that just being like getting overwhelmed almost and really like, like it's that's when it hits you like you're, you're done like this, this, this is, is yeah this is yeah. the last time I mean, last 48 minutes you're gonna step on and play with your buddies too I'm sure you know kids you've probably been playing with since they're, they're, you were you know since you were younger and, stuff and like there's that. documented people on the team that didn't like each other but would come together like for that game for that game yeah. it was weird like, <laughs> and like and it, it was like kind of that weird bonding the game itself I want to forget because we, we lost very badly um and I will never, the thing I'm, the two things I'm never going to forget from the game, actually three things. The first, we were, we were down seven points. It was our opening drive. And we were like doing amazing. Like we were looking incredible. Like we were, running backs were hitting all the spots. Uh, receivers were getting good yards. We were blocking good. All of a sudden our center snaps the ball over our QB's head. And, and Redding gets it. And we just never recovered from there. Yeah, and I just could imagine. That what I remember, and then getting mad, I remember getting mad at the coaches, because we were down, I think by like 21 points at half, which is, you know, you're down, you're probably, you know, it's, it's tough to come back from that, but yeah. there's a chance. So, yeah, it's not it's, insurmountable. It's not, oh, yeah. yeah. They did not, we did not make any changes, there was no going over of plays, there was nothing during halftime. Boy. Getting really upset about that, like not, like them not doing anything. And then the third thing was, uh, this is actually the funny story. Um, we uh, we were about to lose. It was like five seconds <laughs> left, and for some reason we had we had a, we had an amazing uh, D lineman O lineman on our team that was an all all league. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. And uh, we created this ridiculous play where he would um, get a handoff and then throw to our QB downfield and go <laughs> for the pass. <laughs> and um, so it's the last play of the game, and all of a sudden it cut one one eighty stretch pass, and all of us know that it's going to be this horrible play that our lineman is going to throw <laughs> downfield. <laughs> And so they call the play, and we get up to the line. I'm like laughing, like I like no, I'm like laughing. And the guy in front of me, the D lineman, goes, "What are you laughing about? Your team's losing." And I go, "Watch this next play." <laughs> and it goes off, and all of a sudden, he throws it downfield, 
right? Yeah. <laughs> Intercepted. Oh! It's like that movie, it's like that defining moment. It's like it would be that defining moment, like to win, but then just it just not happens. Defending, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's uh. Yeah, it might shine on you. But um, Kyle, sort of the, the same question. To you. I know I kind of have an idea because obviously you and I graduated the same year, and I was at that game yeah. our senior year. But I could sort of look at it as a fan perspective. But sort of for you, as a uh, as a player, that last game senior year at home. Uh, just sort of talk about your emotions going that day, going in that game. Well, I'll say that. That, that game really kind of summed up senior year for me. Senior year of football was a... Uh, well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's, I'm sorry. Hold on. Senior year, um, it summed up the senior football season. I got where you're talking. Your <laughs> Not my whole senior year. No, no, no. But um, it summed up kind of the whole, my whole kind of like football experience uh, well, it, it was an interesting journey because I, I didn't really get um, a lot of chances to play, especially towards the second half of the season. Um, and, you know, it was, um, I, I was, I, I didn't... It's I didn't, upsetting. It was a little upsetting. Um, but, I don't know, in the end, when, when, when we finally get to that game, though, I it was just kind of a nice thing to be part of, um, I, I realized, especially when they were announcing everyone and... You know, well, that's was, the thing. It's like before the game. I know all the during the Wellesley games, like all the seniors get to run out and like have their names announced. And that's no, that's yeah. nice. We didn't get that. Cool thing. <laughs> well, also, no, <laughs> oh, also, no, and also another tradition that probably was cool for you was all the seniors get to go out for the coin toss before the, the yeah. game. Yeah, for the coin that was, toss. That was nice. That's nice. Which is pretty cool. Both it, the Wellesley and the seniors go out. Once again, yeah. we did not do that. <laughs> You gotta get I play. like you the Wells. I like straight. the Wellesley program so much better than <laughs> the Stone program. I feel like now I'm talking smack about the Stone program, but no, it was fun. <laughs> so, yeah, it was. It was just. Um, it, it was. I, I was disappointed at first, but you know, I kind of look back on it, and you know, I wasn't. I. I wasn't really. I was. I was not the best player on the team. I was not anywhere close to being the best player. I was actually. I might. I might have even. I'm gonna argue for myself. For my sake, I was actually probably one of the worst players on the team. But That's a bold statement. I, in, the thing is, I enjoyed it, though. It really, um, I thought those were great team bonding experiences. And like Rudy. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, exactly. And it Except just... Rudy um, actually made, made a play at the end of the game, but the whole different. Yeah, I, I didn't know. I'm just kidding about it. <laughs> I, 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 it is worth pointing out. It is worth pointing out that this kid's favorite game... Our senior year was a game where Wellesley got where Wellesley got absolutely killed. Yeah, and let me tell you what. I'll, let me, I'm gonna go into that actually. Here we go. So the thing is, take him down, Kyle. Uh, take him uh, down. I'm gonna tell you exactly why. And I want you guys to know, watching why this game was actually one of the best games I've had, maybe in the four years I played football. So um, the thing is, I've been playing defense for all four years, and that, that's all I've been playing. And it was I, I love D tackle. Yes. <laughs> you, you know. Just <laughs> yes. Yes. That's right. I should have. Uh, Emphasizing that myself a bit, but um, I was. I don't see you as a senior. No, I don't. No, I don't see myself anywhere else. Really, no, that's fair. <laughs> anywhere outside the line. <laughs> but um, I um, it was actually one of the best games. I thought it was. Um, we got killed. Let me tell you something. We got killed by this by this team by uh, I believe it was Weymouth. We got killed by them. Mm-hmm. And it was like forty to. Nothing, or it was, we may have had like one touchdown. We they they got like forty points, or whatever. But what really made this game special for me was um, well, a lot of times during the, at the end of the game they would uh, put in whether we're losing really badly or we're, whether we're winning by a lot. They would put in the second string and third string players, and me being on the second third string area <laughs> of the team, I um, got to play um, defensive tackle at the end of the game. Not only did I do that, but that was the one time throughout my, fo- my football career that I played both sides. When I was out there in the field, oh, yeah. um, they, um, it was going to be the, the, um, the turnover. So we, we did the punt and everything, and I was like, all right, I, I, jogged, I jogged back the line. And they're like, no, Kyle, stay out there. I was like, what? Stay out on offense? Play both ways. <laughs> yeah. They were like, yeah, you're playing both ways right That's now. Good. I'm like, okay. So <laughs> by the end of the game, you know, we got killed, but... I think I was the only person that had a big smile on his face because I, um, it was the one experience where I got to play both sides, and mm-hmm. it was, you know, you, you you take the you take you, you it's the little things that matter. Take yeah. yeah. Take me again, and overall, I think it was just a great experience. I thought it was just a great, 
Um, I, I look back at football and I really have no regrets. Um, I, I didn't play a lot, but I had a lot of fun. You know, and practice was great. We we had we I thought we really had a. I hated um, <laughs> no, nah, actually, yeah, some of the, the some of the drills weren't always that great. I yeah, actually I got yelled at in practice a lot. You did, huh? Yeah. Because uh, so, I I would uh, <laughs> I don't know. I do stupid things. I try to mess. With, I would try to mess with the co coaches. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, it's actually yeah. interesting. It's kind of interesting that you guys bring up like all four years of high, of high school because that's sort of the, the last main question I wanted to sort of ask you guys and like it sort of try and focus on Thanksgiving but you guys could do it in general just sort of some of your I know you alluded to it already but sort of your favorite memories from either you know like Thanksgiving games all four years or just you know or even you could add in some favorite memories just in general from four years of playing football a lot I don't want to be, I think just, there was one really, I always think of like, like cool times, um, not me doing well, but like funny moments with the team, and then one, one of the funniest moments was, uh, there was this, so going into one game, we were playing Watertown, and I don't know why I remember this, because it's just, it's really cool, um, we were, my, our QB was really good friends with me. We were really close. His name was Sean, and I was the right guard. And we scored a touchdown, and we decided to go for a two-point conversion. We we did a QB sneak, and he ran right behind me in for the touchdown, right? And like yeah. we pushed him out, and then I hear over the announce announcement, um, QB Sean Secondini runs behind his buddy Craig Pelizzi, and I just thought that was funny. <laughs> like that was a really cool That's moment. Awesome. To, like, That's great. That the yeah. announcer like knew that and pointed it out. You know? Was it? It's a, it was a home game. I was. It actually it was wasn't. It was a away game, but we had our announcer in the booth. Oh. Hmm. They, their announcer was there was something wrong with them or something. Oh, huh, interesting. All That's, right. It's an interesting story. Yeah, that that is a really yeah. cool story. Any other uh, just before. We give out the any other Thanksgiving related memories for the, for the four years in yeah, general. Yeah, the, there was so I alluded to like our so the rivalry we were running is ridiculously lopsided. The, I think you looked up the stats. It was right? like sixty to thirty. <laughs> yeah, like they like they beat us <laughs> numerous times more than we've beaten them. Um, but we were we had lost the, the last ten years my junior year, and we beat them. We beat them the eleventh time. And that was the first time our team won in 10 years. I just remember being pumped after that. Like, just like, we, we did Was it. that out on their field or at home? That was at our field. All right, so that's, that that's was good. Huge. So you get to sort of whoop it up a little bit. I'm yeah. sure you whooped it up a little bit after that game. So mm -hmm, that's pretty mm -hmm. cool. Turkey tasted much better. Oh, absolutely. And that's the thing. Like, when you <laughs> win that game, like, the turkey... I, I'm sure you could, because you won. Well, the broccoli casserole yeah. for him. Yeah. <laughs> the broccoli oh, yeah. Well, it always tastes really good. So no, but I mean, like, because your, your <laughs> sophomore and junior year, we won the game. So it was Oh, like, sophomore year we did, yeah. But right? junior year, too. We oh, won junior year, too? At, at beat them, I remember. Oh, yeah, no, you're right. You're right. right. I remember that. Like, standing out there with the yep. bleachers. I remember just that. miserable. But anyway, <laughs> but, but yeah, the turkey definitely, or whatever your favorite Thanksgiving food is, uh, definitely, yeah. I'm sure, tastes a whole lot better after... After you won yeah. that game, oh, so, yeah, so much kind of any uh, over the four years Thanksgiving or otherwise, any other favorite memories? Oh man, um, let me think. Uh, you can always you got you got to block against a uh, D one. Oh player, yeah, yeah, Tom, I had Thomas a, Claiborne. Thomas Clay sounds horrible. He was a D one. <laughs> I know. I was actually afraid to. I was like literally afraid to go up against him during practice. I kid you not. I was afraid. Oh, he was on your team. He's he on Wall. He played for Walls. So you were on the yeah. practice squad block. So him. this is like sophomore year. Yeah. The sophomore year was uh, was. Yeah, he was a senior. Our sophomore year, and ended up actually starting his last couple of years at BC on the offensive wow. line. So wow. yeah. this and you had to block him your sophomore year. That sounds pretty bad. It was <laughs> scary during practice. They'd sometimes put me, uh, put me and him against each other, and I mean. He, he was just a big guy, and I was like, oh, I, I was actually really skinny. I was he did the skinny kickoff senior year, which, so. which I he thought. Kicked. He did the kickoff. Uh, he so did do that. Year, I remember which, that. Which I that was, was awesome. pretty cool. When I was, when I was younger, when I was on the practice squad, yeah. uh, to mess with the stars, I used to throw dirt in their face when they got <laughs> about their tent. And uh, <laughs> they got mad. They did not like that. <laughs> but um, I was like, hey, that could happen in the game if you play a dirty player. <laughs> <laughs> Screw you, Craig. All right, so... So, uh... 
So we're gonna sort of. Oh wait a second! I didn't get to the. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm it's sorry. Okay. I, I completely derailed you. Go, okay. go right ahead. Don't worry about it. Um, My yeah. bad. So yeah, it was, it was just um, I just had fun all the years. Actually, sophomore year I think was my um, favorite year of football. Hi, I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm just cracking up over here. Yeah, you're right, just you're literally <laughs> right in front of face right now. I'm just listening. I'm sorry, folks. Right. This show is derailing, but we'll get it back on track. I told you yeah. when I was coming on. I'm gonna, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna take it off the stage. I like it. So, um, so basically, um. I guess say one of one of my one of the most really uh, one of the um, most interesting memories for me was, that stuck out was. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't, yeah, I can't look over here. I'm sorry. That's fine. No, I know it's funny. I know it's. So, Did you have you have you call me, Craig, when we're on this. So, continue. Because you're the man. Continue. Well, to continue. continue. But um, so. I thought one of the most interesting uh, moments of football for me was a scene was a well sophomore year preseason. Ooh. This was the first preseason I've ever been to. Obviously, we didn't really have much of a preseason freshman year. Robbie, you can second that. Yeah, right? yeah. We practiced for basically three days before yeah. school started. Three days. Like one practice. Well, that's usually what they do for freshmen, right? They oh yeah, they yeah, don't put freshmen. No, play. we don't do two days or anything. Yeah, like, no, so, yeah, no. no. Mm-hmm. So um, basically, what uh, being. Like, like it really, it, it, re- it was really an interesting moment because it really sh- kind of put me to the test. It was the first physical test, like, I've really been through. I, like, they, yeah, they expected so much out of you. Mm-hmm. Or not, not, well, not expected, but it, it was more just that they, they wanted to see it's how grueling. far you went. It's grueling. Well, yeah, sure, because you're no, playing they don't, they don't twice, three it's times just, a day in well, 90 degree weather. Yeah, so. yeah. I remember two days. No. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it was it was just. That's why I'm glad I quit football after freshman. You know? <laughs> <laughs> after that, like I'll tell you, it was it was it was they really put you to the test. If you drink two jugs of water, I would go through. Yeah. Oh yeah, me too. <laughs> Maybe God. <laughs> it was just it was just the most interesting experience. I've never had that in my entire life. Um, had had like such a physical challenge. It was just the, the one of the biggest physical mm. challenges I've ever had in my entire life. Yeah. I'm sure, you yeah, lost a lot just, of weight during that. Oh my god! I Everybody, was so skinny. Yeah, sure. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> it was always big. It's unfair. <laughs> hey, not a bad thing. Not a bad. Thing. Just big bones. Oh, I thought you were. Right. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna break my skinny bones. <laughs> but, um, so, yeah, it was just, it was just really, I, I just really was. Wow, it was, it was just a really interesting moment in my life. It was just kind of really life defining, I thought, and mm-hmm. just. Really pushed me to the test, no, and I'm glad true. I went through that because yeah. I, it's just a real. It's character building. Exactly. It is. No, it really it's is. It's character building. Yeah. There were times my junior year where I wanted to quit. There were, and I stuck with it. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I think everyone has that feeling, but then you know you just um, if you you end up, you feel like you really like the experience, and it's just you can you can, you know that 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 was find something that, inside you. Yeah. Exactly. All right. Well, now that I I let you say I, I let you say your piece. I know it. No, but uh, so now we're gonna move on to uh, sort of the end part of our show, our monologues. I know these guys have, have prepared stuff. I, I, I want to put out. I, I, I have. I know Craig's ready to go. I I, I have a topic. <laughs> I've prepared nothing. <laughs> try, try, try to keep it like a minute or two if you I'll can. Yeah, yeah, I can do that. If you can. But okay. since Craig is the guest of honor, we will let him begin uh, for our monologues here. Craig, the floor is yours, my friend. Oh, Take great. it away. I love fantasy football, but I also hate it. Because you play against people <laughs> that don't know what they're doing. Okay? I agree. You got, yeah. You can't trade Marshawn Lynch for Rob Hauser. <laughs> Okay, you can't do that. That's oh. not a fair trade. Exactly. Marshawn Lynch. No, I know who Marshawn Lynch and is. And who's Rob Nelson? No the team, the tight end for the Arizona Cardinals. Who's going to trade Marshawn Lynch for Rob Noah. You can't do that. That's not a fair trade. Okay? In life, you can't, you can't cheat the world. And when you do that in fantasy football, there should be consequences. I understand trading for draft picks. Like, some people want, like... You know, they throw in draft picks in the deal, but you, you can't just do straight up, you know? It's unfair to the world. It's unfair to people. Have fun playing fantasy football, but don't cheat. Plain and simple. <laughs> Rob Hausler for Marshawn Lynch. 
<laughs> Who the hell is Mark Rob Hosler? <laughs> thank you. Well, thank you. Craig. I just want to reiterate. <laughs> Who is Rob Hosler? Who is Rob Hosler? <laughs> Let's give you our catchphrase of the I show. Welcome know. to all the couch hockey sports. Who is Rob Hosler? I'm uh, sure Rob Hosler. <laughs> <Housler. laughs> really upset. <laughs> He's Please, Rob Hosler's not going to watch. He, he's probably making millions of dollars. Video yeah. reply. Yeah. I the video reply by like the end of the night. I Your, how funny would that be? Your <laughs> show versus Rob Hosler. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. You just talk mad crap about him and send it to him on Twitter. <laughs> Rob Hauser, you're a garbage tight end. Rob Hauser, who are you? Who are you, Rob Hauser? <laughs> yeah. No, honestly, I never heard that name until you just brought it up. Yeah. So. Tight end for Arizona. Our tight for Arizona. I'll never ever forget the name now. But, <laughs> but anyway, so Kyle, you the floor is now yours. You, uh, you do what you do. All right, so I just wanted to talk about um, just kind of go back to um, football. And I thought just, you know, um, that we were, the fact that we're talking about Thanksgiving Day football and everything, I wanted to, you know, discuss about um, kind of my, my four years of football and how, how they were. Like I said before, I, I, was, I wasn't a great player. I, I was not, you know, it was something that I wanted to try, and I really liked it, um, and, you know, I wasn't expecting, when I went through football, see, the thing is, I, I came, I came, I moved into Wellesley, I, I didn't really, I, I had a hard, I mean, aside from Robbie, because Robbie was really my only good friend when I was, when I was here, I'll be oh, honest. Well, um, thank you, I appreciate that. <laughs> oh, yeah, anytime, and I, I just, Dom I, until later. Yeah, well, I didn't meet, well, I didn't, yeah, I know, my other friend Dom, I didn't meet till like, literally the end of senior year, so he, he doesn't, he was more my Wheaton friend, I guess, but, um, that's beside the point. So, um, yeah, because, uh, I, I really, just, I had a little bit of a hard time adjusting to, um, you know, to... Being the new kid. Being the new kid, yeah, and, uh, eighth grade and freshman year were kind of tough years for me, for a little bit, I'm not gonna lie, and, um, when I joined football, I really, it was... It wasn't just. It wasn't. I wasn't looking to be the all-star player in that team. I, I was. I was oh, not. Now, no. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Robbie. Yeah, Robbie. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah. yeah. Oh please! I give crap for that all the time. So he's used to it. At least he didn't, at least he didn't quit. Uh-huh. It's true. I, I saved myself the embarrassment. That's fair. All right. <laughs> <laughs> this just got really sad. I feel really sad right now. Yeah. So, so yeah. do I. I've right always now, brought it up on myself. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, right? It's all right. But anyway, so it was just it was just a good experience for me because I feel like I really had a I had a group to go back to and uh, I had a really great group of kids as well. You know, I had I had I was. Like I said before, I was great friends with Robbie, and that, but the, and then also had the football team. So mm-hmm. it was um, they were they were really great friends of, of mine, and um, <laughs> I really appreciate sticking sticking with them all four years. And um, I just I, I I really couldn't ask for a better experience to be honest. Um, it really made high school that much better. High school wasn't really it was okay for me. I, I not I didn't, I didn't hate it, but it just wasn't really it, it wasn't really my a, a strong point in my uh, it wasn't really that. Um, you didn't peak in high school. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> so it wasn't that like that much. No, it wasn't that noteworthy of I guess of a no. Actually, no, I, I can't say that. A lot of stuff happened, but um, it it was if it weren't for football, it would, <laughs> high school wouldn't have been as special. That's what that's basically what I'm trying yeah, to say. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah, that's a better way to worry it. So that's but yeah, you just good. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so um, so basically, what what I'm trying to say is lesson lesson is you know if. If, um, you know, there are people that want to join the football team to, hey, they may want to make the big plays, they want to go to a college like BC, Harvard, then go to the pros, hey, that's cool. But, you know, if you want to just, you know, be part of a good group of kids, good group of friends, then brotherhood, brotherhood. Yeah. and if you're just going there for the experience and all the, I've learned so many lessons through football, so many good life lessons, adversity and Coach JC, if you're watching this, I know, you'll know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so, uh, that, that, was, um, that was very deep. Yeah, you got deep there. Yeah, you got very deep. You opened uh, up. Thank you. You got very deep. I, 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 you opened I, up your heart. I, yeah, you opened up our heart. So now, it's on to my monologue. And mine is sort of a, a two-part monologue. Part of it's going to be about football, but part of it's going to be about baseball. Because yeah. if you've been paying any attention to the show at all, you know that I am a pretty big Red Sox fan. And I'm trying not to get upset right now, but... Jacoby Ellsbury. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> I remember for you those, actually texted me as soon as you found out. Yeah, I did. I, I think I Facebooked you or something like mm-hmm. that, but I was not too happy about it. But 
I, I've had time to reflect on it, and I and I have I've formed some some coherent opinions. Um, for those of you who don't know, Jacoby Ellsbury, center fielder for the Red Sox, signed uh, a seven-year deal with the New York Yankees. Pulled the Johnny Damon. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, I, I'm not as upset that he left the team. I'm more upset about the team that he went to. If mm. he had gone anywhere else, you know, Atlanta, Detroit, Kansas yeah. City, anywhere, I wouldn't have been that upset about. But for him... A guy who came up through the Red Sox system, minor leagues, into the major leagues, yeah. did a lot of great things for us, helped us win a World Series in 2007 and this year, 2013. For him to go and side with the arch rivals of the Red Sox shows me one thing, that there is no loyalty in baseball. Money talks. That's money, like money talks. I mean, it's the same thing with Jai Davis. There is no loyalty there. The fact of the matter is, is that the Yankees offered him more money, so he went. That's like Lois Lane mm -hmm. just saying no to Superman and going right for Lex Luthor. True. Sure. <laughs> it's like, actually. What, oh yeah, you got it. Whatever yeah, you, you said. That. You nailed that. My bad. See, but, reference. Bam. Yeah. But um. Good work. But uh. Here, here's the fact of the matter is, I'll get very quickly, I got a second party to move on to, but right. the fact of the matter is, is that Jacoby Ellsbury, losing him is not the end of the world. He is, he is injury prone, we have younger center fields like Jackie Bradley Jr., Quinton Barry coming up, who can make just as much of an impact. But just the fact that he went to the Yankees, of all teams, is what really irks me, and I know it irks a lot of Red Sox aces. So, so Jacoby Ellsbury, I say to you this. Goodbye, good luck, and good riddle. So, two enemies of this show. Jacoby Ellsbury and Rob Hauser. <laughs> and Rob Hauser. We hate both yeah. of you. All right, now, quickly second part, because this was, this was requested by a, uh, a viewer. Shocker, we actually have a viewer. Um, a viewer of the show requested this on Facebook, so I, I want to get back to it. <laughs> the, um, the Patriots-Broncos game a couple weeks back. Crazy game. Crazy, crazy game. The Patriots go down 24 to nothing at mm -hmm. halftime. And mm -hmm. I don't know about you, Craig, but I was already in front of the my TV out of the window. I, I, was, I just didn't know I didn't know how to react. Because well because just to go off topic, it was not the offense that killed us, it was their defense. Who should it not was the be fact that us. our running backs could not hold on to the football, but I digress. Yes. Uh, Stephen Ridley. Um, now that I mean, <laughs> the show, we're just kidding, and he's not been in here. But, um, I'll reiterate, they're not enemies of us. <laughs> we're enemies of them. <laughs> but anyway, but here's what I'll say. The fact that the Patriots were able to come out in the second half, mm -hmm. tie the game, took a lead, and then ended up winning the game in overtime, Shows me actually a lot about this team. This has been a team that has been decimated by injuries. You lost mm -hmm. Vince Wilfork. You lost uh, Gerard Mayo. Chandler Jones was out for a while. Um, Tlaib hasn't been 100%. Tlaib has been, yeah. Especially, especially defensively. Defensive this is a team. Team. Yeah, the defense is just... And also the offensive line, too. Mm -hmm. But anyway, the fact that this team, who now, may I add, is... Nine and three, mm -hmm. and on the cusp of winning another AFC East championship, was able to come back in that game and win the game against Peyton Manning, who, you know, beside Tom Brady is, you know, let's face it, is the best quarterback in the NFL and has the literally the best group of wide receivers around. Yes, him. including Wes Walker. Yes. who uh, we won't get into, but um, the fact that they were able to come back. And win that game just shows me a, a ton about that team. The character, the just ability to fight through adversity. That's something we've learned with Coach Bill Belichick over the, over the years. That no matter who's starting, no matter who's playing, this Patriots team has a shot. As long as they have two people. Bill Belichick and Tom Brady. What about Gronk? And Gronk. Two. Although, <laughs> although, although we to a little lesser have, extent. Uh, yeah, to a lesser extent. But, Patriots, I say, great job. 
Congrats on the win against Houston, even though you should have won that game a whole lot more than you actually did. And please, don't make me need to throw a TV against Cleveland this week. Just go out there and kill them and clinch the AFC East Championship. Yeah, no throwing TV, that's bad. I, I, don't, want to, I don't want to throw any TVs. That, that's You've bad. done it before, you don't want to do it again. Exactly. So, anyway, that is our show for this week. I know we ran a little bit longer than previous shows, but you know what? We, we had a good time. We had some laughs. We had some cries. We went to the very... A lot of, a lot of we, cries. We, we had a lot of yeah, cries. We made, some, we made some enemies. We made some friends. Yeah. Uh, look for us next time. Uh, I want to thank Craig. For, I want to thank Craig for coming on the episode. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to give him a quick plug. If for any of those people who actually watch the show, uh, Craig has a show. Actually, I, I'm sorry. It's not your show. But if you want to, you can log on to the Stoneham Television Network. Yeah, just go on YouTube, type in Not the Craig Show. And show. And enjoy the, the great enjoy, enjoy, enjoy the, the laughs we'll, we'll put there. the link up there. We'll Kyle, Kyle's been on it too. Uh, yeah. it's, uh, I guess there are two episodes. It's a great time, so uh, the, uh, these guys deserve uh, as many views as possible as far as I'm mm -hmm. concerned. And we've got a sports episode, and we got that plan. We're going to have you guys on it. Oh, yeah. Alright, sweet. Alright, <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. You heard it here first, folks. Uh, but anyway, for Craig. He's Kyle. I'm Robbie. Thanks as always for watching. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. Rob Hausler, we're coming for you! <laughs>